We are back. It feels like forever since we did any football, but today we have a Don Rush. Just one hobby uh, hobby box. There is 18 packs and then 10 cards per pack. A lot of rated rookies. There's going to be some cool stuff in here. There should be one auto and one mem card per. Um, we're going to kind of fly through. The thing that I think most people want is the downtowns. I actually was reading the checklist, and if you read the checklist at all, there is a long, 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 long checklist. And this is a really good rookie to have. Um, Aiden Hutch Hutchinson for the Detroit Lions. There we go. He played really well this season. I wasn't um, high on him coming out the draft, but he actually proved me wrong. He, he plays really, really well. Um, we're looking for some. There's actually optic previews in here. Um, there's a lot, man. That checklist is literally like a Harry Potter book. That thing is long as anything. Well, Game of Thrones, a little bit longer than Harry Potter. Um, but no mem card in here. But I actually saw that there is some... There's some uh, fan of the game, actually, which I love because it always reminds me of that Kobe um, World Cup card with uh, Prism with his auto. That's like one of the most rare cards to see if you guys ever seen that. Um, I'll actually put a little picture of one up here. But we have, um, but that's probably one of my favorite cards. A lot of people's grail cards. Um, Kobe obviously loves soccer. And he was, this feels really thick, so this might be our uh, mem card. But there's fan of the game cards here. I think Mark Wahlberg was on there. Um, there was Daryl Hunter Jr., but I saw Steph Curry's on there. Yep, this is our, gonna be our mem card here. So hopefully get a little RPA action. Um, the set's been out for, I believe, like a day or two. So this is the RPA. It is back, or well, the uh, mem card it is backwards. So let's go ahead and pull from, oh, let's pull for this way, there we go. Nope, that's backwards again. APK, All Pro Kings. We got Shaquille Leonard, and that is just a mem card out of 399. That is not from any specific game or event. So if you guys are looking for any game use stuff, this is not it. So we're gonna put this over here, show it off a little bit. And we got Pro Duo, or Pro Power Plus. We got Tua there, hopefully he comes back healthy. There we go. Speaking of fan of the game, Kevin Durant. Um, uh, Redskins fan. Oh, sorry. Commanders fans. I'm so old that I have to get used to that. So sorry about that. But there we go. Fans of the game. I think there's a Steph Curry one as well. I don't know if these are rare or not, but I'm going to keep this to the side. There's also a couple short prints or s they say it's SSPs, but there's two per case or yeah, two per case, which I feel isn't really an SSP. Um, but I guess that there's so many of them that maybe it is an SSP, but night moves looks the best to me. It kind of reminds me of like, uh, uh, kind of color blasty, um, color wheel. Um, what's the other one I'm looking for? Like solar eclipsey. Uh, so those are pretty cool too. Looks like we got a little color in the back. Um, I'm actually going to kind of fast forward through the, uh, first few cards here to kind of move to, you know, the base cards. There's a lot of base cards. So Tom Brady dominators is pretty nice. Gridiron Kings. There we go. We got a Michael Strahan gridiron Kings. Is that one of the sh short prints? I know that downtowns are in here, so there's so many on this checklist that Great Iron Kings may be one. So if that is one, that is really cool. I'll look at it later and I'll put a little edit there. And then in the back, we have Kadarius Tony, Super Bowl winner, actually. Kadarius Tony. Um, that is number two, 420, huh? You guys are funny over there, Panini. Numbered over to 420. And uh, just in case, I don't know why I only sleeve that Kevin Durant. I sleeve these all after because there's a lot of packs to go through. But in case this is a super short print, I want to sleeve that up. Big fan of Michael Strahan. Um, he's a really good talker for some reason. Ever since he did that morning show, I don't watch morning t television, but he's a very, very good talker. And doing YouTube and editing my own voice, I can tell you that is not that easy. So there we go. Kenny Pickett's a good quarterback to have. Everybody obviously is looking for Brock Purdy. Um, let's kind of go through again. Let's get to the back. There we go. Tyreek Hill, Elite Series, little OBJ. Didn't come back, apparently. I remember it was funny. Speaking of which, uh, maybe I'll go uh, talk about that on my Instagram or Twitter, which is link is down below, by the way. I'm getting back on Twitter, by the way. If you haven't been following me, I'm getting back down um, on Twitter, doing some sales on there and stuff, too. Probably do some giveaways as well. So look out for that if you guys want to follow me, if you guys are, like, big into that. But I want to, like, put out a survey because remember when everybody was talking about OBJ? Where is he going to go? Is he going to go to the Chiefs? He's going to go to the Eagles. Um, where is he going to go? Um, little fake, little fake car there. Um, I believe they do this because they don't want people if they're like selling packs at like L uh, local card shops that people don't just try to feel the thick one so they get the mem card. Um, there we go. Action All Pros, little Jamar Chase and Danny Gray. 
and uh, Clay Matthews. I don't know if OBJ like re-injured himself or what happened to him specifically, but I know for sure he didn't come back. Um, but hopefully he be, he'll come back next year. I always hate when people get injured. That's probably like a terrible feeling to be an athlete and not be able to play. But yeah, so all that talk about OBJ and he never came, never came back. So Ronnie Lott, Jamar Chase again, hopefully he hit a downtown. Um, one thing I did want to talk about is, um, actually it was cool that we got this. Oh, uh, actually I usually do the same pile. Um, is that I got to see a couple of like weird cards that came out. So apparently there's a Santa downtown. Uh, there should be, I'll put a sale if there is a sale or any comps of that card. Um, I don't know what people would pay for that. I kind of feel like it's gonna be hot now. Is this a downtown here? This looks a little shiny. That's not a downtown. Dominators, they got me. Uh, got the D though. Wait, pause, Never mind. Anyways, um, yeah, so they got, uh, they got a Santa Claus. Um, downtown nowadays. I don't know why it is that way. Maybe they assume that this uh, this set was gonna come out. We're already in what, middle middle to late February. So maybe they thought the set was coming out before Christmas. So maybe that's what it was. Um, I can't imagine that card going for more than like 150 tops, maybe. Tops, not, not no pun intended there. So we had a little no name. Um, is that an error card? No name tight end, Zach Ertz. That might be an error. I'm gonna look that up later. So I'll leave a little note on the, the video if that is an error card. And then Travis Etienne and LaVisca Chanel Red. Uh, yeah, you're looking for downtowns in here. I wanna get, I saw that there was a Sean Taylor downtown on the checklist. That was pretty sick. I would love to have a Sean Taylor card. If you guys are old enough to remember Sean Taylor, you know, tragic story, but he is, was supposed to be one of the best. Oh, the rookies. That's a nice card for Aiden Hutchinson. Um, another Gridiron Kings. Well, I'm assuming this isn't a short print since this is uh, the second one we have. Oh, we have a little color too that looks like bronze. And that would be Kair Elam or Kair Elam. I don't know how to say that. That's out of 100. So that's pretty nice there. Let me sleeve that one up. Really random with the sleeving today. I sleeve them up after, but whatever. We're random on this channel. Um, also too, another set came out, uh, UFC Immaculate. We're gonna be dropping that video as well. So if you guys wanna look out for that, subscribe if you wanna see. Uh, Tyler Algier is, um, looks like he's gonna be one of the top running backs from this draft class. So keep an eye out for him. And then let's see, we have Power Plus DJ Moore. And then Zach Wilson, franchise future, huh? Man, Panini's hilarious. TJ, why I actually do think Zach Wilson has a shot. Um, as long as you give him, these guys are super young, man. Like, especially being a quarterback and having so much to think about. Uh, Zach Wilson, like, was just kind of thrown in there. And, you know, obviously he could be better. So hopefully he gets another shot or as a backup somewhere and then maybe can prove himself. Or he'll feel so, I think that's another fake. So, yep, another fake. And then we're gonna get to uh, Nick Chubb. Um, action all pros and then hold on something's wrong with the sound here oh no it was fine there we go I might have just skipped that um, skip that little little delay we had there action all pros is not numbered or anything uh, yeah something's wrong every time there's ever like anything that pops up on my computer whenever um, I'm filming I always freak out I feel like it's just gonna erase itself or something but anyways let's continue we're still looking for the autograph I don't know if Brock Purdy's actually in this as an autograph. I know that's what you guys were probably looking for. Oh, this card's backwards. So speaking of autograph, oh, never mind. Got him. Mike Evans. Why is this backwards? It has a little bit of that canvas vibe to it. So I don't know if that's a like a um, some type of uh, short print or something. Maybe I don't know. There's this checklist. Like I said before, it is insanely long. So. Um, we'll see. I do know that there is a short print that I wanted to look out for. Uh, maybe I even passed it because I'm just kind of uh, rambling and going through this. But there's a short print of cards where they have the player's full name. So it would be like Tom, Harry Potter, Game of Thrones, HBO Max, Last of Us, Brady or something like that or Thomas or whatever. Um, so that's a short print as well. So, you know. We gotta be on the lookout, you know. You gotta you gotta be on your toes when you're opening up Don Russ because some cards look completely normal and then some cards 
are super, super short prints. And, uh, well, they look normal and they're super short, but you know what I mean? So it looks like we're gonna hit this auto last, maybe. Hopefully there's an auto. Um, if you watched this channel before, you know that there's been times where we have um, open boxes that say that there's an auto and we did not get one. Champ is here, Leonard Floyd and a Marquise Brown. Um, I think Elite Basketball, which is actually coming out pretty soon. I love that set. We might do a case of that. I, I actually really like that set. Um, On-card autos, um, early jersey, um, early uh, players in their uh, NBA uniforms and stuff. It looks like we got a little die cut in the back. So let's go ahead and get to the back. Uh, Tyron Davis Price, Dexter Stingley, Trey Hendrickson, very, very good defensive end-ish. 75. I say that because he could play tackle and he could play all along the line. I don't know how he doesn't wear gloves, dude. My hands would be messed up, but he's always one of the guys I always remember because super, super good. Never wears gloves. All right. All right. Now I get a little nervous now that we might not hit the auto. So hopefully it's a good one too. Oh, looks like we have a little redemption. I have no idea who's a redemption in this set, but we're going to save that to the end, I'm gonna put that right up there. And that's my boy, Chris Carter. This is the guy that I watched um, when I, one of my favorite wide receivers, he played with Randy Moss, when I first started watching football when I was like nine or 10. Um, one of the reasons why I'm a big Vikings fan, him, um, Dante Culpepper, and um, Randy Moss is the reason why I like the Vikings. And it has been, uh, it has been not the best to say the least. There's been no Vikings Super Bowls ever. Um, they've made it like, I believe four times, but have never won. We always are very either mediocre or very terrible. We had to play against Brett Favre and then Aaron Rodgers. but you know what? Let's that's the discussion for another day. Um, let's see the back here. Kyler Murray, Gridiron Kings, Bryce Hall, or Brees Hall, sorry. He was really good before he got hurt. DeMarcus Ware, uh, Mr. Um, fake. Spin move, I believe that's Marcus Ware. He used to do that in Denver when they, I believe he won the Super Bowl with them. So this could save the entire box. Um, unless I hit a super short print that I didn't know about, this um, redemption can save the entire box. Some people hate redemptions. I'm kind of 50, 50, uh, I would say I don't like it more, maybe 60, 40, only because they don't um, redeem them very often. Like people are just now getting their Lamella ball rookies and stuff like that. So let's say like value can go down so fast, but like, I understand that there's a lot of logistical issues and stuff like that. But anyways, let's see what the redemption is. Football, Don Russ, Don Russ, rookie autograph, rookie autograph, which is really good. Number six, I don't remember who's the number six. Garrett Wilson for the New York Jets. I like, he, I just like rushed myself through that. But we're gonna get a rookie autograph, Garrett Wilson. I don't know, maybe I'll keep this, maybe I'll sell. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe I'll give it away, I don't know what's gonna happen. But we got a redemption for Garrett Wilson. Not a bad one to have if you are gonna get an autograph. Like I said, that checklist was huge. But Garrett Wilson autograph, I will accept. And thank you guys for watching this semi-first look. I know we're a day or two late, but thank you guys for watching anyways. Let me know what you think of this set. Let me know what you think about the downtowns, the fans of the game, like all these kind of weird cards that they have in this Don Russ. I feel like they did a good job making this a fun rip for kids because this is one of the cheaper sets, but a lot of like inserts and stars and designs and short prints you could look for. So let me know what you guys think and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.